Thank you for joining me for some more Evoland, and I'm um, sorry, we're still doing puzzles, and I'm gonna do all of them, and hopefully we can get done with them in this episode. You're a student? You'll see, optics is as simple as ABC. I'll award you a credit if you manage to solve a very basic problem. I mean, a three-year-old could do this. You'll see, it's terribly easy. A beam leaves source A and must end up in main conduit B. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not. Hey, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, move it down there. You go. Yay! I am uh, smart! I was gonna say, just move that down. <laughs> Excuse my crying. <laughs> you figured it out? Well, you've earned credits for the book six class. Three year old, my ass! It wasn't as hard as the others. It, seriously, I think we started on the wrong end. That's a smart yeah. goddamn three-year-old. I'm not reading you. Screw that. Hello. Uh, nope. No, I'm not a. You want no. my learning? Thank you, my. Oh goddamn! What are you, Australian? Painting a classica. To complete the painting, move the color so that no color appears twice on the same line or column. Oh. Colors marked with a dot cannot be moved. Oh, so it's Bitch. Sudoku, but for yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, swap the blue with the red. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! Do you not do Sudoku puzzles? No. I'm not smart. It doesn't take smart. Not reading for you, it's dumb. Please, please put that noise, or sound effect I just did in there. <laughs> Cryptographer for the Council of Traders. They requested that I devise a new encryption system to secure trade. Of course they did, because they own everything. Just like America. I finally... Shit. We don't. I have finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? Watch me crack it. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> I am screaming. Internally? Internally. Out of the four symbols, which one completes the series of symbols below? This is like those German puzzles from from uh, World War Two. They don't fucking make sense. Um, try the farthest to the right. Hmm. 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 Nope. Mm. Shit. What the fuck? Uh. You're an ignoramus! <sighs> Motherfucker. Ain't you a dick. Jackass. I was thinking a second There's one. only four choices, I'm just gonna... <laughs> whatever. Say fuck it and do it. Yeah. I still think it's the second one. That's the only one that looks like it makes half-ass sense. I thought it was the second or the fourth. Apparently it's not the fourth, so... Why don't you be the first one? Yes. Nope. Oh, nope, it was the second one. Hell yeah. No. What? You found it? Now I have to start again from square one. Leave. Gladly. Wait, seven out of s what? You've got one more before you get the extra stuff. Uh, I'm, a, I'm going for extra credit. I knew I was low. Ever held so many books? All must be sorted meticulously. God damn it. I am in charge of archives. I said archives funny. Arcade. But because of yeah, arcades. 
<laughs> but because such a collection can't be perfectly sorted, I bear the title of an archivist. Oh my god, so funny. <laughs> It's a little joke dating back to the Imperial. <laughs> Don't care. Just get to the point! Give me the bonus. Oh, sorting. Yay, what? Oh, shit. I might be good at this. I don't know the books I'm like, is this place? Can you spot which one? Fuck no! It's not this one. It's not this one. I swear to God, it's not this one. It's not this one. I'm just gonna oh, go yeah. with. Did you figure it out finally? No. I think no. I saw a pattern. Yeah, I noticed a pattern too. That's what I was looking. I hate you, Baldy. Some people. Oh my. Oh hey. Maybe you're being. I don't speak to children. <laughs> Why do you, do we, well, you know what, bald guy? At least I have hair. <laughs> so, take that, baldy. <laughs> In our comments, <laughs> I don't fucking care. Look at the The bars. green one on the bottom. Uh, right there. I think so. Yay! Huh. Okay, cool. Nice. Last one. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Yay for OCD. We have these books and twiffle kids. The only fucking difference, instead of having three lines above the Got 50 score, drinking games, a book not everyone should read. I'm gonna give it to the children. Yeah. 50 drinking games. Oh, man! So, are your studies progressing well? I'm done with them. I'm done. Congratulations, he shouted enthusiastically. I are smart. You finished all your courses. This calls for an extra reward. Drink here. Here you go. Got dark. Are you kidding me? I got hair dye for all that crap. I got hair dye. Get dark. All right, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know? Why the Magi. Fuck am I still here? The Magi are a people, or rather a civilization, that peaked more than 2,500 years ago while the world was largely underwater. We were underwater? Yes. Huh. According to the legend, <laughs> they possess magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say that they can manipulate time itself. No oh, shit. But these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contemporary. Contemporaneous. Thank you. Contemporaneous peoples to account for strange phenomena after the fact. Nevertheless, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2,000 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. Just like what would ones. you like to know? Magilus, please. What are commonly called Magilus are, in fact, the most famous relics of the Magi, civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread throughout various continents. It is not precisely known what purpose they served. Deciphered writings refer to a road or path, but where does it lead? Incidentally, it was while searching for a Magilus that my former professor, also a great expert on the Magi, met her end. Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? Disappearance of the Magi. Surely it's the greatest rival ever put forth. Why would a civilization as powerful as the Magi vanished from the face of the earth 2,000 years ago? And without a trace or practically none? Even after years of research, I must admit I haven't the foggiest idea. So kind of like the Dwemer from Elder Scrolls. Just poof, gone. <laughs> what would you like to know? Your professor. My old professor was a leading Magi expert. Her entire life was devoted to figuring out why they had disappeared. I recall she was particularly interested in the Magiliths. She thought the stones contained a power that, once triggered, would enable, would enable her to learn more about the Magi. She discovered a Magilith that she believed could, she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived on the island at the time. 
No one ever found a trace of her. That was on Magi Isle, the one people now call the Cursed Isle. Would you like to know? God. <laughs> <laughs> the Stone of Time is quite the legend in itself. It has some connection with the Magilis, but I do know more than that. The item predates the Magi by many years, so long ago in fact that no one remembers when or why it was created. I'm not even sure if the stone really exists. The only direct reference I was able to identify is in the archives of the Demonian royal family, which I was lucky enough to visit. The Stone of Time is evidently a large round stone, black, with an eye engraved in its center. Ooh, it's the Eye of Mordor. <laughs> Interestingly, the eye resembles that used by the prophet. A bizarre coincidence, if you ask me, but I am hardly concerned with the outside world. What would you like to know? Oh, God, God, God. God. Fuck. Not a goddamn thing more. Magi Isle is located far to the east and can only be reached by boat from Sierra Harbor. Its name comes from the Magi ruins found there. Pirates made it their home, only to be mysteriously driven out later. Whatever the case may be, fishermen still refuse to set foot there. They believe the island is cursed, and so it, its name has become Cursed Isle. Quite the ghost story, as if they even existed. To get to Magi Isle, you'll need a boat. Keep in mind that only a member of the Council of Traders can provide you with a pass of safe conduct. <laughs> I am going to need that asshat's help. Shit. What would you like to know? Oh, thank God! It's almost as if we're, like, back in school. <sighs> yeah, given one piece of information only for... Okay, so again, guys, that was a lot of dialogue. And I'm sorry that the last couple of episodes haven't really been me progressing. Which kind of makes me regret digging around a couple episodes ago. Puzzles and My bad. <laughs> Puzzles and dialogue. But it looks like we're going to be going on a boat next, so stick around. That's a great title for this episode. Yeah, it really is. Puzzles and Dialogue. Puzzles and Dialogue! This is a great episode. Title. Title. Whatever. Bye, guys. Bye. Get dark! Are you kidding me? I got hair dye for all that crap?